Hi, I'm Brad from Portland Feral Corner with Ashes to Angels. Yay! <laughs> Hi, Brad. Hi, man. First off, how are all of you guys? Very well. Very, so very good. good. Very good. Very having excited. a great day. Awesome, awesome. You yeah. describe yourself as synth goth pump. Punk, oh, yeah. not pump, punk. <laughs> how did you guys form and how did you arrive at your sound? Well, I want to describe it as pump now. Pump, yeah. yeah. Right, pump. So synth goth pump, pump. yeah, definitely. Yeah. So who wants to describe how you guys formed? Basically, all I went, no, I did is I went to gigs that I liked and I would just collect blood from each individual member and I had to grow these guys in a petri dish to assemble <laughs> the ultimate hard rocking team of goth punk enthusiasts because no one else wanted to be in the band anything from beforehand yeah I've, well it makes sense now it's, well, all, it's all coming out it's they think exclusive. that they've had lives but they did <laughs> it's all implanted and one day they're just going to yeah. snap like that and they'll be like what am I <laughs> awesome <laughs> yeah we don't have a chat. <laughs> right, so Damn obviously it. your Damn. style is a massive part of your music and as you people. Me so aesthetic. what inspires you? Pardon? You mean aesthetic? Also. Yeah, yeah, aesthetic yeah, yeah. kind of, but everything really. Just your whole. Something about my appearance. <laughs> no, not at all, man. <laughs> Just in general, like what inspires you? Life. The night. Life. The night. I am the dark night. night, man. Ravens are good. Crows. I don't know, man. Like. <laughs> I was the fucking like the metler at school that's what they used to call it when they were hitting me in the face like big old baggy jeans and then the t-shirt got a little tighter but um it all got a little tighter yeah I'm gonna go with like I'm gonna go with like classic wearing black it's the best colour plus anytime time it was like you don't go to a funeral mate I'm like I might be <laughs> yeah exactly might be. <laughs> you never know thanks yeah <laughs> Oh, if it's good, the thing is, if it's good enough well. for Johnny Cash, yeah. then anyone who says it's not yeah, for I bet, them, I bet no one ever went out to Cash like freak. They did. They were like, <laughs> yeah, right. "You go to a funeral," and okay. it was like, "Maybe I am." <laughs> I was a reference. <laughs> That's a awesome. meta interview. <laughs> no, <laughs> come together, Nico. <laughs> he made you dress as June Carter. <laughs> <laughs> it was you. He said a heart with the cord on. <laughs> Now, your recent album, Horror Cult, Horror Cult was... Have you heard uh, it? Yeah, really, really, I loved it. I heard it. Really. <laughs> it was the worst thing I've ever fucking heard. <laughs> what was the recording process like for that album? Great, man. It was really fun. Like, we got a studio who... We got on really good with the people who were there, and, like, it's out in the middle of nowhere, and, like, the owner lady, she, I think, must be deaf. So we can just <laughs> trek at the appropriate times. You've got to close the gate. Yeah, Remember like, that. you can fucking be tracking drums at four in the morning, and she's fine, that's fine. But if you leave the gate open, God help you! <laughs> it was really, like, the one before was rushed and hard work, and we weren't fucking that good, so it was pretty difficult. Whereas this one, like, we were just, everything was smooth, and... Yeah, we can't rate Yeah, it's, it's an awesome enough. album. I love it, man. Honestly, yeah, really, really well. pleased with it. Can't talk high enough about the studio. It's a really good experience working there. That's what he said. The ranch. <laughs> <laughs> can't talk enough about it. Let's say it twice. Yeah. So, the ranch is Southampton. Yeah, yeah. Great. Oh. <laughs> so when writing your songs, where do you get your ideas from? His brain. Yeah, His brain. <laughs> they're just in there and just... Pick I've been learning how to, I've been learning how to write when I'm not feeling inspired because my thing was always just like oh a song would arrive and it would either be good or bad but just I just knew the it. whole thing. Whereas now I don't have time for that shit. I don't have like three years to write <laughs> a record and I just have to sit with a guitar and be like <laughs> song. And sometimes it's fucking terrible, but my creative output has increased dramatically, which is good. Good. You also take a throwing dart, throw it at a guitar, and whatever fret it lands on, that's the key that the song's going to be in. <laughs> For a long time, four songs I like were it. in F sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Every song, fourth fret, it was the best one. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be renowned for your energetic live performances. What inspires you to go mental on stage, really? Is it just the music? Because a lot of bands nowadays can just stand oh, still and do nothing. Yeah, right. dude, I'm expressing myself. <laughs> yeah, you've we're got encouraging to. other people to do the same. We're not the kind of band that people are like watching. What I think is I bring... I'm going to speak for myself, but I'm louder than them, and I have the microphone. <laughs> so I bring whatever's going on, and I, on stage, like, it comes out, and it claws its way out of my mouth, and I don't want people to just to watch. That's humiliating. I'm the man screaming in the supermarket. What I want is for people to get something kind of cathartic from it, and I think that they really are, and that's why, like, they don't know about mosh pits, because they're, <laughs> they're not of the same generation, but I'm teaching them, like... Slowly. <laughs> We played with Fearless at Cabaret of the Dam, and I set my personal height record for a stage dive, and it was like... <laughs> I reckon probably that lower part of their branches. I was like, I really hope they've got the fucking gist of this because I'm going down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was wicked. <laughs> They're learning a lot. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, like, whenever I've 
been le- when I when I was learning as a kid, like I've always played the same way. So it's it's good to just get out there and do what we've always in the mirror to do. with a Honor acoustic. <laughs> yeah! I never had a Honor acoustic. It was probably worse than that. It was an old right-handed classical classical guitar that I tuned to drop D. <laughs> played throwing myself down. around playing with guitar. Is that a car car out. Yeah. Of a guitar. I had that when I was a kid. <laughs> if I could do it again, I'd have forced it to be right-handed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, I got insulted by Duff McKagan once for playing guitar left-handed. Oh, that's not cool. Yeah. Surely it doesn't matter, really. Not really. Just I made a, I met him it's once, an and I made a reference that he was um, writing with his left hand. I was like, "Oh, you're left-handed." And he's like, "Yeah." I was like, "Oh, I never, I never expected that because you play bass right-handed." He's like, "Anyone that plays left-handed is an idiot." <laughs> no. <laughs> so, oh, good. Cheers. Man. Yeah, thanks very much for that. Now, your fans are a massive part of like what you guys do, and they're really passionate. Do you have anything you'd like to say to your fans who are watching? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, man. Yeah. And also, go and start a band. Go and start a band. <laughs> Absolutely. That's what, what I want everyone to come along in this ride. Go kick our ass. We'll do it. Yeah. So yeah. What advice would you give to upcoming bands? Tuning pedals. They're the most important part of gear you're ever going to own. Practice with the metronome. <laughs> this is the shortcut to being need. good playing in time and playing in tune yeah. that's going to change your game now we have a lucky dip for you guys so you have to pick a letter from A to Z and it's a random question right. do you want to take the risk I absolutely do what, what letter do you want Nico? as a collective group L L, L. 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 you're going for L, L. L. Yeah. here we go yeah. if you could pick two celebrities to be your parents who would they be in white? Bam Everybody. Tim Burton, Helen the Bottle Cartner. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty. Yeah. I don't think we need a white. Bill <laughs> <laughs> Mallow and Porcelain Black. They're pretty hot. Yeah. Batman and Wolverine. Batman Dark, and Wolverine. good choices, good yeah. choices. Well, that's the end of the interview, so thanks so much for chatting oh, to dude, us, guys. It's was, been amazing. Fun. I've been Brad, these have been Ashes to Angels. Like the video, subscribe, and check these guys out. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah.